Hello, YouTube. I just wanted to talk about what I plan on putting together. This is the RX-93 V Gundam uh, set. It should be a really simple set. It's the smaller, squished version of this. This is a bigger version. I've already put together a simple version of this without the uh, wings and all his weapon gear. Just, just with his basic rifle and shield. And uh, that's probably what this is going to be. It actually looks like I have a shield too, uh, wings in the back as well. Um, so, basically, uh, if you can see here, this is what it looks like. Of course, it's in Japanese. I don't know how to speak Japanese or read it, but I do know how to follow the numbers. Uh, if I wrap it. It's actually convenient. Um, I used to work for a job where I have to flip over and pull tape just like this. So it looks like this is going to be simple. I have the lid here. Oh, yeah. The little piece of plays are actually quite smaller compared to what I have been doing. You know, I've been doing it a lot with more pieces and prices in it. Oh yeah, definitely. As you can see, the head right here, that's the back of the head, and that's going to be the face plate. It actually looks bigger than other models. So you know how you have the mecha, which is basically, Jap it's, you know, it's uh, the Japanese robots. The tall ass robots that are like Godzilla size, are actually taller than Godzilla. You know how you have the they have a normal size head with their average size body, kind of like a human being like me. You know, I have a normal size head with the average body. Now, this is kind of like how you would say a midget or dwarf Gundam, kind of how like you have a tall Gundam but you squish it together with a bigger head and a smaller body, and purport, you know, a bigger head and pushing to the body. Um, the head's not too big, and I'm not making fun of people with disabilities at all. I'm just, I'm just saying, as an example, you know, an average, you have the average head, small head with the big body kind of thing, and, and the reason why I say that is because I know the head, when you're putting the head together, when you're putting the horns on the head and the face together, you want to be very careful because it can come undone, because with the first model I built with the RX-93, that's what this model is, 93, the, the, the head, the part of the lower part of the face came, kept coming undone from the upper part, like where the crown is, the forehead, and uh, even the crown can come off. And the crown is this middle part with the little four horns on it. It's kind of like, uh, you know, like <clears throat> well, no, it's just kind of like horns. So that kept coming off. But it looks like this is going to be quite simple. Here is the instruction manual, and here's what it's supposed to look like once it's finished. Building it. And like I said, it's in Japanese. Now, you could, like I've done a few times, use your translator. Uh, I use Google Translate sometimes, and I like to aim the camera of my phone at language. If I know it's Japanese, I have it trans translated from Japanese to English, and I just aim my phone at it, the camera, and it'll detect the language and also translate to English as best it can. But Japanese is a very Difficult language is because it's very old. There's like different eras, different dynasties, so therefore different time periods. And uh, somebody told me that there's like seven different ways to say I love you in Jap Japanese. There's no distinctive way, which is why it's so hard to have people who, you know, you know there's people that translate, you know, uh, uh, foreign languages into English, so, you know, other languages such as Japanese. And that's why you have a lot of uh, anime that's not quite in English yet because it's very difficult. To translate that language into English, and plus, um, I learned during a class in voice acting that uh, there's a lot of different little cultural things or subcultural things in Japan that just don't translate well over to English. And more about that later. But basically, we have the instruction manual. I'm not going to fill the whole thing in you know, because that's just going to be uh, maybe on the next set. I've got two of these small guys. 
we call it SD Gundams, which is kind of a small version of, of of the actual things. Um, I kind of think I kind of think they're cute. You know, I'm just gonna say it. You know, I'm not trying to be. I, mean, I don't care if it sounds maybe it sounds ugly or not. I'm, I think they're cute. Um, and it looks like it's gonna be less of a hassle. And from what I've been building, like the average sizes, this should be easy. That that's actually practical for me. I do know, and I actually do regret having to have stickers because stickers. Very difficult. I remember on the last first model, I had to be very, very careful with the stickers actually. On the last two models, I had to be careful. Especially when I was building the, uh, the Gundam, the Wing Gundam Zero. That had to be very, very careful with the stickers of the, for the eyes and for the, the head plate. Um, and, uh, some of the shield and stuff. The first model I built, the uh, RX-78, which is actually like the prerequisite before this model, before this model, it has the same pilot, basically, the same mecha driver, who controls it, who pilots it. And uh, I guess this gun that gun got destroyed, the RX-78, so he, he was given this one, which is like an upgrade version of that, in a way. Because uh, he's basically, he has a rifle and a shield, just like that one did. And these two are some of the Two of the most famous ones, I think, because I keep seeing the same model. I actually got four models at the uh, 2022 LA Comic Con in in, San, in in downtown Los Angeles. I was about to say San Francisco, but downtown Los Angeles, Los Angeles, California. And uh, I attended that about a week and a half after I no, actually a week after I attended the Fan Expo in San Francisco. And uh, I didn't really get any models there, but I did get a, I did get a few at the uh, Japan Town in San Francisco, Japan Town Collection, Collectibles, what's called. So if you want to go by there, Japan Town Collectibles, check it out. Now, I don't know the address, but just look up, just Google or, or anytime on your map, Japan Town, just look up Japan Town Central in San Francisco, California. Also, there's a place called Anime Pop. I actually got my first Gundam set model, Gundam model set there. That's why I got the, uh, that's why I got the RX 78. But enough about that. So I will be doing this very soon, probably within like the next four hours. Maybe I'll get started on this night. Who knows? It just depends on how I feel. Um, I tend to like to stop after a while. Like I'll build the head, maybe build the torso, or maybe I'll build like half of the torso with the head, and you know, with like the head, uh, upper torso, and arms. And then maybe a few hours later, the next day or later the day, later on the day, I'll start on the legs. Usually, when you get the leg, usually when you get like the head upper torso, shoulders and arms, and then the legs, you're pretty much done with the base of it. You're just left with the weapons and you know, peripherals such as guns or maces or lightsaber, sorry, not lightsaber, beam sables or shields or any anything, wings. And I'm just saying, because based on the equipment that um, certain ones have, like the the RX seventy eight ad uh when I was done building the base the, the the figure itself I had to build its rifles and uh, its bazooka or rocket launcher and then its shield uh and I had to figure out what I had to find out where to put the beam saber handles with the beams themselves and, and then then the Gundam Wing Zero um it was kind of like a variant version of it that was called but I had to with, at that get to building it I had to after I got to build the, uh, the base figure, I had to finish with the peripherals of uh, its rifle, its, its, its uh, shield, and also its wings. You know, I consider the wings peripherals too. I, I guess I should because anything that's connected to the body itself at all times is considered main. And peripherals are pretty much the same thing because of the hands like beam saber guns, uh, shield, or but. Anyway, the wings I kind of did, I did later because I just didn't feel like it, but like I said, if you do the base, the, the figure itself, with or without wings, um, you pretty much got it, like, 75% at least, I think, not 75, but 70, <clears throat> I think you just left with, uh, anything extra, like, wings, shield, any weapons, uh, so, so yeah, um, and I kind of like, I like this model because it had the toy action figure. I actually just rebought it too. I rebought it at, um, at a Comic Con. I bought two action figures along with four model sets. 
ولی فن انگلیسی هوی داره اون فن انگلیسی هوی اشهد یه فن انگلیسی داره اونی اون پاکستان اون دو بایلار بسیار بایلار بسیار بایلار بسیار اچار با مارورز نو مور دن فیفتی بس خواهد بیو Forty ninety nine. This one cost me about twelve. We have the price on it. It was about twelve. Two for that price. And then um, and I got um, I got two other weapon models. So I got two little uh Gundam SD SD Gundams and then two weapon models. This one of these is weapon. I'm pointing to is actually is like one of them. So I was planning on storing this one tonight, but uh, I'm not sure if I'm in the mood. I may do some of it, but anyway, I'll let you know and I'll show like show evidence of me building it. I'm not building it, but having it built. Uh, of course, I like to do it for views, but I like to do it because it's a hobby. You know, it's it's a uh, it's kind of like a, a wasted hobby I've got myself into. It, it's some money, but it would maybe 40 bucks for one model that I really care about. I think based on the model I have and that should be good of, it's Walton. And the thing is, is I didn't even really see this particular model. I don't think, I don't think it's in the show, I think it's in a movie. I'm, I'm gonna have to find that on a movie. I think it might be on Country Low. But anyway, um, yep, that's pretty much what I meant to say. I will keep you updated regarding. It's being built, and I will post a video of it being built and showing it. So, thank you. Peace.